Okay, we just left the uh, Roosevelt Island tram, came back from Roosevelt Island. We're here at the Roosevelt Island Tram Plaza, 59th Street, 60th Street. Now I'm going to walk west on East 59th Street to the Lexington Avenue subway. And we're going to take that down to 33rd Street and walk over to Penn Station. And I'll be catching my 1020 train back to Spionk, Long Island. I'm going to stay in the portrait mode because it's e easier to carry the iPhone this way. And unfortunately, for whatever reason that I have not figured out yet, Periscope Live is not working right now. I keep getting uh, too weak for signal, but I do have a good Horizon 4 bar signal, so I don't know what the problem is. Now this is interesting coming up when we get to the subway. This will be a free transfer on my senior citizen metro card. Well, free transfer for any metro card because I swiped the metro card to come back on the tram. And then if you go onto a bus or a subway or within two hours, it's a free transfer. We're walking west on East 59th Street here on Upper East Side. We'll take the Lexington Avenue 6 train, the local, down to 33rd Street, because it's only a few local stops, and it's easier to get on that than the Express, the 4 and 5 Express. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So this is Third Avenue we're crossing over now. We're going to make our way to Lexington. And this and the um, four, five, and six line, the green line subway, IRT. We'll take the six train, local.
زلنا وثاني أهمادة هذا دور Okay, and here we are at Lexington, East 59th and Lexington. light and the subway entrance is right across the street so let's hop the six train down to 33rd street the 59th Street local. comes our local train. So that was the local 6 train, Lex Line 6 train from 59th Street to 33rd Street. There is a downtown local 6 train to Brooklyn Ridge City Hall approaching the station. Please stand away from the platform edge. There is an
Okay. That was quite a climb. Okay, this is Park Avenue and East 34th Street. We're going to walk west on East 34th Street to Penn Station. Thanks for joining. We lost our signal in the subway for a while between 59th Street and 33rd Street. I was on a downtown 6 train on the Lexington Avenue line. But we have our signal again. And we're walking west on uh, 34th Street. East 34th Street. We'll next, be crossing Madison Avenue. I'm using my iPhone 7 Plus, and I'm going to stay in the portrait mode because while walking, it's easier to carry it this way in my left hand, and I don't have my gimbal with me. So you're going to see jitter and bounce here. Periscope live broadcast for some reason is not working for me today, except that it worked very early this morning, 5 a.m., when I first boarded the train out in Spion. Uh, let's wait for the light. We're in no rush. This is Madison, Madison Avenue, 34th Street. That's looking north up Madison Avenue. This is looking south. Let me check my time. 9.35, we have plenty of time. I'm making a 10.22 train at Penn Station. So that's just two blocks. We'll stop at Herald Square and we'll get uh, some views of the Empire State Building. Here we go. Pedestrian green. Nice north breeze right now coming down the uh, avenues. Actually, we're walking into a breeze heading west here on 34th Street. I have to figure out what's wrong with Periscope there, and I hope it has nothing to do with the iOS update, which I uh, updated last night to 11.4.1 on my iPhone.
Of course, it could be a Periscope app problem, too, so we'll see what happens. This is always a pleasant walk here on 34th Street. Let me get off to the side out of the pedestrian way. I'm going to show you the Empire State Building. I'm going to pan up. Here it is across the street. There it is, good people. Empire State Building at the corner of 5th Avenue and East 34th Street. get a better view of the top of the building from Herald Square where 6th Avenue crosses 34th Street and Broadway. That's at the east end of Macy's. Macy's Herald Square. Very pleasant morning here in Manhattan. Warm, but the humidity is low, and there's a nice north and west breeze blowing right now. Now we're between 5th Avenue and 6th Avenue, or as some people call it, Avenue of the Americas. Not too many, though. Not, New Yorkers don't call it that. It's 6th Avenue. A lot of visitors. I hope this YouTube live broadcast works out, even though you're going to have the bounce because I don't have my gimbal stabilizer. However, for the archive video, I can uh, do a little enhancement when I get home on the computer. I'll edit it, edit it for stabilization.
York City, the city of scaffolding. Always repairs going on, renovations. So therefore you have the scaffolding to protect the, protect the sidewalks, protect the pedestrians. Uh, we got the light. Let's cut across to the north side of 34th Street. And then we'll cross over 6th Avenue to Herald Square. We'll wait for the light. Here we go. All right, let's let's stop here in uh, Herald Square for a little bit. Take a look around. This is where Broadway crosses 6th Avenue at 34th Street. This building is the east end of the Macy's headquarters, Macy's main department store right here. Let me get across now. You see, this has been closed off to traffic for quite a few years now. So they made it a pedestrian plaza, which is very nice. sit down for a minute and I'll check my train times and then we'll show you some views here all right okay uh, 944 943 here's the better view of the Empire State Building with the top of it you can see that right there okay one day this fall, I'll take you to the top of the Empire State Building. And we, when I go up there, I go to the 102nd floor, all the way up to the top. I haven't been up there in about four years, but uh, it's time to do it again. Since 2014, I've done uh, quite a few trips to the top of One World Trade Center to uh, One World Observatory up there. I think I've been up there six times, which is great. But now it's time to get back up to the top of the Empire State Building. Thank you for joining. Again, this is uh, Herald Square, where Broadway crosses 6th Avenue at 34th Street in the heart of Midtown Manhattan. What a breeze feels good. All right, you don't want to see me. I want to change this. Okay. That was an accident, folks. I just want to show you something very quickly with the Macy's windows here. At Christmas time, the holiday season, these windows on the east end of Macy's are uh, decorated for the holiday season. And they always have a different theme every year. So obviously between Thanksgiving and Christmas this year, we'll be back to uh, take a look at this. All right, now this is looking up Broadway, up toward Times Square, 42nd Street. You see the Times building tower up there. Let's take one more look at the uh, Empire State Building from our vantage point here at uh, Herald Square. We get around the corner.
So you see all trains come to uh, Herald Square, as you can see, PDFM and the, and the yellow line, the NQ and R. FDNY. One more look at the Empire State Building from here at Herald Square. Okay, I'm going to start walking now west on 34th Street. This is now West 34th Street because we crossed over Fifth Avenue. And this is Macy's department store, am I right? over to Penn Station, Penn Plaza. Thank you for joining. I haven't done very many YouTube live broadcasts in recent months. I went back to Periscope but for some reason Periscope is not working today for me. So it's either my operator error on my part or the app has a problem right now that the Periscope folks have to fix or put out the uh, upgraded to iOS 11.4.1. I say that, but as I also say that I did have a successful periscope broadcast this morning at 5 a.m. of uh, the Long Island Railroad train that I was going to board out and seem to be okay. Since that time, I cannot make a connection for a live periscope broadcast. So we'll do YouTube live. Big YouTube live, and I've sent messages in, but I don't know if anyone's seen them. Is that YouTube live has to have stabilization selection in your iPhone pad prior to doing a recording as uh, Periscope, and that really helps camera bounce and down the street. However, you can uh, edit the video, the YouTube live video, once it's uploaded uh, to uh, stabilize it a little. Now, here we are at 7th Avenue, and this is the RT 7th Avenue line. One train is the local, the two and three are the express. The two and three run beaten from Re Let's cross over this way. We have the light to do it this way. We'll head south on 7th Avenue. And I want to get to the west side of 7th Avenue, so we'll wait right here for the light. They also refer to this as Fashion Avenue, because between here and uh, 42nd Street used to be the, probably still is, the uh, fashion capital of the world. Maybe not so much as in the past. All right, we have the light. I don't know if you're going to see anything like that. All right, we'll walk down to 33rd. So walking on 7th Avenue right now, folks. I'm going to get over because I'm going against the upstream fish.
I try to limit my summer visits to the morning. All right, here we are at West 33rd Street, which is now closed off, or half of it is closed off for uh, pedestrian plaza here again, which is kind of neat that they've done, done this. Five to ten. I cross over this. What was the street? And we'll get another look. This to the west is the new construction at Hudson Yards, a city within the city that's going up over the uh, Long Island Railroad storage yards there between 10th and 11th Avenue. So they're building a new city over the railroad yards. And we'll take a walk down there one day, I'll show you that. That's when we do our High Line walks, we end up there. And here's the Empire State Building from West 33rd Street and 7th Avenue, looking east on uh, 33rd Street. after the former heavyweight champion of the world of the 1930s, 1940s. We just catch the rear guard, which sits right over Penn Station. Oh. Let me answer that. Dutch, was that you? I missed, I just caught a part of that comment. Um, I'm heading home now. I'm going to catch a 1022 train back to Long Island uh, because I can't take the city heat. <laughs> In the fall of the year, I'll do my all day trips, but uh, not today. So I thank you for being with me. I guess I don't have the YouTube set up. I'm missing the comments. I just saw that one comment. As I said, uh, for some reason, it's not working for me most of the morning. So I switched to YouTube Live. I hope that's been working, but I don't have my stabilizer, gimbal stabilizer with me. So I've been hand carrying the camera. The the iPhone. All right, look, I'm going to end this broadcast now, folks, and uh, get down there to uh, the railroad concourse because I can board my train by 10:15. So thanks for being with me this morning. I sure hope you were able to see these live broadcasts that I did on the uh, Roosevelt Island tram and then walking along uh, East 59th Street to Lexington to catch the street. Of course, I'll be able to review all of this when I get home and on my computer and I'll see whether it actually uploaded to my YouTube channel. And if I can do any editing of, uh, for stabilization, I'll try to do that. So. I'll talk to everybody later on this afternoon, okay, folks? And uh, thank you very much for joining. I'm sorry if I missed comments. Uh, Marty or Dutch, if that was you on the comment, we definitely will get together one of these fine days. After Labor Day. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody.